If you ever find breaking bedrock, that's a very good sign. Look at it. There's a ton of material just hiding underneath there. There is no reason why a nugget can't be in there. Oh, look at that. A tiny piece of gold sitting right there. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of people will clean all this stuff out and then they'll walk away when it's actually not cleaned out. There's still a lot of cracks and crevices that can be removed and recovered. Move towards what brings you joy and remove others who tell you otherwise. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today I'm at a river that I don't normally go to because of how far away it is and it's called the Gold Falls. We have had a couple days of rain so as you can see the water level is kind of high but that doesn't stop me because I'll just walk right in, I don't really care. Further downstream, we have the YouTuber Me Miner and his daughter Amy joining us today. Those of you who don't know who Me Miner is, um, I suggest you go check him out, especially if you like silver. This guy finds silver and he's always out with a bunch of people and he actually gave me a nice silver nugget, which I really appreciate. I'll probably put a picture up right here. But anyways, we're gonna make the most of today. So let's just hurry up and get to my spot where I have all of my, whoa, all my equipment. And let's just see if we can't find ourselves some shiny gold. And here it is, the Gold Falls. Beautiful area, nice bedrock, beer colored water. I hope you can hear me, it is really loud here, so I'll try to keep the mic facing this way and not that way. From previous times being here, I know that there is good gold in this area. So I'm gonna work around here and especially work around the bedrock. Just gonna loosen up some of this uh, hard gravel and mud and just quickly do a test pan and see what we're looking at. No gold in that pan, but there is a bunch of little garnets that you probably can't see. Check out this coarse vein. It runs all the way up the bedrock here. That is really neat. I'm gonna continue here for as long as I can until hopefully we get deeper and we can actually start finding some color. If not, I might move up along here or even go downstream to meet up with our buddy Greg and Amy. Now, we're finally finding some color. Just in time, because look who decided to show up. So now that we are seeing gold here, I think it's just best to uh, stay here, because why leave gold if you're already on gold? All right, two more pieces of gold. That's looking pretty good. Before I continue, I wanna go over here and introduce you to these two. This is Me Miner, how you doing? Doing well. 
<laughs> no silver today? <laughs> no lead. Some lead. Some, some lead. Some gold, but no silver. <laughs> I am on a terrific gold creek and I'm not finding gold. No. But failure is not an option. No. <laughs> so this is a crevice that comes downhill. If any gold comes down, that's as far as it can go. So we'll bust up some of the bedrock. Let's get stuck to it. And this is Amy. How you doing, Amy? Good, how are you? You're pretty good. You finding anything? Uh, nothing so far, no. How are you liking the high waters? It's really, it's really nice here, actually. Yeah. And I like the waterfall <laughs> behind. <laughs> this is one of the only guests that we've actually brought along who doesn't complain. She actually likes being out here, which I find really sweet. So that's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to finding gold. Since I moved that rock, that now means there has to be ounces and ounces of gold here. When you are in a gold producing area and you come across bedrock, always stick to the bedrock because gold is so heavy. In fact, people underestimate just how heavy gold is. So whenever you see bedrock, stick to the bedrock, get as low as you can. Right now, I found the bedrock and that is where I'm finding most of my gold. So I'm gonna stick to the bedrock get as close as I can to it and try to scoop up as much material as possible and just work my way down. It also helps if you have a scraper tool like this. You can get them at Home Hardware, Home Depot, Princess Auto, wherever you're from to really scrape it all down into your scooper or your spoon. I prefer spoon because spoon are better. So next pan, about eight little specks of gold. Not bad, I don't see why we can't continue. I just watched Amy drop her phone in the water and then I watched Greg fall on his butt in the water. <laughs> if you ever find breaking bedrock, that's a very good sign. Look at, there's a ton of material just hiding underneath there. There is no reason why a nugget can't be in there. Oh, look at that. A tiny piece of gold sitting right there. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of people will clean all this stuff out and then they'll walk away when it's actually not cleaned out. There's still a lot of cracks and crevices that can be removed and recovered. So after just doing a little bit more scraping, see there's actually still some more dirt left. This is what I found. More gold, more specks, but still more hidden gold. So now I'm gonna soak this and see if I can expose any more cracks cleaning out the best I can and then we'll see what we get. Also, let me know if you want to see me come back here and scuba dive this pool or even perhaps work at the very top of the waterfall. So I just broke up more bedrock and I actually exposed a couple more spots where I found more dirt. And check this out. More hidden gold. <laughs> I love that. See now I cleaned it to my standards which isn't really good. But uh, as you can see there's still more exposed cracks and there's still more depth in here. So I'm just going to continue doing this for as long as they want to. And then uh, yeah hopefully we'll find more. So much numminess. So I've done a few more pans and I'm still finding gold, but now it's starting to peter off. 
this is what I'm finding right now. So really small kind of stuff. But uh, I think it's worth it just to keep continuing just in case I'm gonna miss anything and then perhaps move along downstream or I don't know, see what else there is here. Okay, so after doing a few more pans with very little luck, I finally found another okay piece of gold. Not too bad. Still considered as fly poop, but still not too bad. So Amy, Greg, and I are gonna call the so Amy, Greg, and I are gonna call it a day because we're just so hungry and we never thought about bringing any food down. So yeah, let's go back to the house and uh, I'll weigh all the gold. So back at the house. Today was a very short day, very fun day, but very short day. And I wasn't actually planning on filming, so the fact that I can get out and still find gold is good news. This is the gold that we found today. Very nice looking gold. Out of the places I prospect around my area, this is the spot where I find the most sharp looking gold, which usually means it's close to the source. Now, since Greg was my guest, I'm gonna give him all this gold, and because he gave me a silver nugget, I am gonna give him a gold nugget. I don't think that fine gold is enough to weigh, but we'll weigh it anyway, and then we'll weigh the nugget. Point 0.15 of a gram. Now the nugget. 1.14. So he pretty much gets a one gram nugget for his efforts. Awesome. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't hesitate, hesitate to hit that subscribe button as all these adventures are free and there's plenty more heading your way. I am also on Facebook and Instagram for those of you interested to see anything else extra. Anyways, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.